Hey guys, yes, it's currently night right now. Um, I just want to say, um, actually, I don't really have much to say except, except, um, make sure you just to support other people. I know this is kind of like a lame way to start a video. I just want to make sure you guys know that. I mean, I just want to tell you guys that something about me that you guys don't really know. Or probably don't know. The reason why I don't socialize much is because I've tried to make, make friends many times before. They all keep calling me weird and annoying. And then once I started watching Annoying Orange, I realized that I'm passionate be annoying. Honestly, all um, the type of sentence I go through is that I always have the fear of my anxiety just getting to me. Worst thing I'm afraid of is more of my family dying. On my on my dad's side, everybody's like just passing away. My grandma died when just at the same day when when me and my sister were born. And yes, my me and my sister are twins, but it wasn't at the exact time when it came out. And, um, my, me and my sister forgot who her aunt died after she died from cancer like about four or five years ago. I was heartbroken to hear all that stuff. I, I couldn't deal with the sadness. I realize that I'm a YouTuber. Um, did some YouTube videos, obviously. I decided maybe I should just make my own, make, make some money off of it. At least try, and if I don't, then that's fine. At least I'm just doing it to maybe help my fans or something, you know. I talk to myself a lot. I don't really. Now, as you know, I don't communicate much, but I'm hoping you guys can just support me. I'm sorry if I'm just keep on doing this. I was watching a, a video. If you guys know who Markiplier is, that's all right. If you don't, just search up his name. It's pretty much easier to spell. This is my closet right now. Anyway, um, I just want to tell you, thank you guys for su subscribing. Although, I don't really have that much. Please, please, um, show my channel to your friends or something. I didn't really cry, honestly, because I made a promise to never cry. I thought that it means I'd be weak if I really cried. Turns out, it's just, it's just the emotion that everyone needs. It would be worse to suffer from depression. I always think that, the, that, that my future be going from good to bad. Normally, I don't always think about it though. And um, I pretty much suffer from stuff in my nose. Like every morning, it's just always one side that's always clogged up, and the other side, or either both, or just just it gets clear, then it, then it starts to get clogged again from one side. I don't know. It's really it's a little confusing, but it's true. Like right now, both my both of them are just like literally clogged up right now. One side is actually a little a little less clogged. Anyway, um, my dad is like having problems right now. He's pretty much like suffering from anxiety, from how I see it. 
he sleeps with my mom now because, like I said, the things that's happening in his dreams were like nightmares. Um, he used to be able, he used to be able to run. He can't do that after 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 the accident happened in the military. He served for nine years, and he's fifty eight now. I'm a little worried about what's gonna happen in the future. He he trying to help help my sister to actually have emotions, so that when she's older, she don't suffer from anything bad. Normally, I do things uncontrollably, just like bothering her and stuff. I get mad emotions. I get one. Turns out I'm actually helping her. She wouldn't realize it because she, she barely understands anything. She hangs out in her room too much. I try to get her to play some videos with me. She don't always do it, but at least she does sometimes. She could say happy or I don't even care what more emotion is. I scare her sometimes. I guess that's more like the scare emotion. <laughs> anyway. I've been alone for pretty much like, like my whole life. Nobody ever talks to me or anything. My dad is the only person that was there for me. He's maybe getting old, but he told me that his mind will always be young. I'm hoping that maybe one day he'll be able to see his grandkids. I'm just adding nonsense stuff but I hope you guys can keep supporting me I want to support you guys the most of however how, like of however I can get advice I don't even care I want to make sure you people can enjoy your lives before you just I don't want you guys to suffer from anything. Not even depression. So. I realized that from my previous videos. My eyes have. Or from, I mean my eyebrows are like a little thinner. Now they've gotten thicker. I'm never recording them. I like thick eyebrows. Anyway. Um, all my relationships is. I always say nobody's gonna like me anymore. I used to say a lot of suicidal things because I thought if I left the world, nobody would need to just suffer from the things I say. And my parents would, it only happened like to me twice, or no, three times. I was a little younger. I get brought with this night thing, and then. And then a couple of years, or a year later, I did suicidal thoughts again. And then, and then this year I did it again. Now I'm thinking, I don't need friends. I only need my family that can like, be there for me. I, I'm sorry if I don't, didn't really think about you guys much. Just that I'm way too alone, and I feel like that that nobody's actually there to help me when my parents are not there for me. I only and my sister. She just spends a lot of time doing things on her own. I think and most of my ways of how I get things done and how I get the all the permission is what I need is, is by observing and listening everybody goes through through a lot of something like for instance my dad couldn't deal with how, how many times his family had to die just right there he was poor then he got bullied too many times now not every, every bully would bully you, but I think in that in the modern life, it's like, 
things are just horrible. <sighs> There's many things I regret. Everybody has a regression, regressions, and I regretted so many things, made way too many mistakes. I had like very many dreams. I dreamed of getting the Medal of Honor while I'm in the military. I dream of being the best gamer in the world. It's hard to achieve, but. I still try to face all these challenges I go through. Some of them I quit at because I knew that I wouldn't be good enough for it until I got everything I need to be done. And I didn't really have much people that could support me except my family. I'm hoping that there'll be more people out there I can. I'm thinking about doing video, um, um, giving videos from my from my laptop. The only problem is that I also get stressed way too easily. There's many things I don't even know what to do anymore. I want so I'll make sure you guys go through something better than I do. I want you guys to um, survive through tough times. My grandma was here. Maybe I don't know what I would be, but I know she'd be proud of me. She'd be proud of my whole family. My parents were in Washington, you know, Washington, like where my aunt was at. I was able to talk to her once. I don't know if that's what was the ever last time though. All my memories of her have been wiped. I just, I always feel so guilty that I forget things and others way too easily. I can't remember my uncles, so I barely see them. Now one of my uncles have been affected um, with cancer, I mean by cancer. He's still around. I'm hoping that one day I can see my uncles from my dad's side again. I never get to see any of my dad's side family. I always feel like that, that all the guilt goes on me. I get blamed on way too many times. I want you guys to go through what I'm going through. So, please, I guess, share this video with, her, with everybody you got. And I really want you, and I really want you guys to actually listen to every detail I say. Parts of you can leave it out, but still. <clears throat> I just want to say, be, stay safe. Watch out for for our people that, that are driving cars. Have, have a good life. And please don't go, go and, and please don't put yourself through something that's gonna make you suffer from depression and stuff. I promise you, you don't want to go through any of that.
It's hard for me to, to even talk to girls when you're just nervous. I also dream of, of becoming a, a, a ventriloquist comedian after I, like, you know, like, double paint and stuff. I dream of being able to do most things that most older people can do, that teenagers can do. Well, anyway, I hope you guys watched everything. One day, one day, I'll do something better for you guys. I'll post robots videos, I'll post maybe even, I just post random videos, I can't do animations though. I am way too lazy to, to even put, to even make videos like that. So, I so all I want to say is that, guys, watch out for criminals that are out there. Be safe. Make more money if you can. And please. I'm sorry. I'm, I mean, just please make sure to live a life you will remember for the rest of your days. I promise you guys, I will never, ever. talk suicidal ever again I realized I have my family and my games to take care of me thank you guys so much for those who have been there for me I hope you guys can start watching more of my videos or applying thank you so much make sure you, and if you're new make sure you do subscribe and click that bell or if you're using your phone I don't care you know, you know, you know, miss, miss a video, video that I post. And since I now have a laptop, I can probably now um, start posting some game, some games and stuff. Anyway, yeah, and this one thing I do online classes. Anyway, thank you guys so much, and I get I'm. Have a good day slash night. Bye. Remember, don't do, do, do the things that I told you about. Bye.